We are quite familiar and we have seen these designs on ceilings, this decorative designs on ceilings, not only on ceilings, you have them on pillars. Sometimes you have masks of these, even toys, all these materials and even idols. All these materials are made from plaster of Paris. So this is a picture of plaster of Paris. It is a white powder and to this white powder, this plaster of Paris, it's like a white powder. And to this white powder, when you add water to it, it hardens. It becomes a hard mass on adding water to plaster of Paris. So this method is used to make all these ceilings and these idols and different designs. You have this plaster of Paris, they will mix it with uh, water, you will get a soft dough and quickly you have to arrange your design, you have to make your design before that substance hardens. It's something similar to cement. Have you seen how a mason works with the cement? He puts water, sand, he mixes it up and then he quickly plasters it onto the walls and then it hardens. Once it hardens, it is then fixed and it's irreversible. Same thing with POP, plaster of Paris or POP. When you put POP, you add it with water, you get a hard mass. And this reaction is irreversible. You cannot get POP back again. Now the chemical formula of POP is CaSO4 point half H2O. So it is called calcium sulfate hemihybrid. Calcium sulfate because it is calcium sulfate and hemihydrate. So it's calcium sulfate hemihydrate. Why the word hemi? Hemi means half. It has got half molecule of water. And why the word about hydrate? Because it has got water. How much of water? Half molecule of water. In the next slide we will see how to prepare this POP, how this POP or calcium sulfate hemihydrate is prepared. So POP or plaster of Paris is prepared from gypsum and this is gypsum CaSO4 2H2O. So this is called gypsum. It is calcium sulfate, hydrated calcium sulfate. And when this is heated, when gypsum is heated at 373 Kelvin, it loses its water of crystallization and it becomes SO4 point half H2O plus one and a half molecule of water is lost. This is POP. This is calcium sulfate hemihydrate is POP. Now care should be taken that the heating is controlled. The temperature should not go above 373. Heating is controlled. That is a precaution to be taken. What would happen if the heating is not controlled? If the temperature goes very high, then gypsum, this is gypsum, it would lose all its water of crystallization and you would get just CaSO4 plus 2H2O. It, gypsum will lose all the two, both the molecules and this is called burnt plaster. Now this blunt plaster does not have the properties of POP. So while preparing POP, care, the precaution to be taken is it should be controlled heating. Heating should be controlled. If we do not control the heating, we get burnt plaster. So from to get POP, we get it from gypsum. Now however, when gypsum, when this POP, when POP is added to water, it back again gives us gypsum, which is a hard mass. So here we have POP, CaSO4 
point half H2O and to this we add more water and then we get CaSO4 point 2H2O. This is the hard mass, hard gypsum, which then sets into the designs that we want. It's a hard mass. So the reaction is to get POP, we get it from gypsum. Gypsum. So here we have seen that uh, POP, when we add water, we get back again gypsum. So this uh, will summarize it again. So POP, when you add it with water, you get this hard mass. And remember, this reaction is irreversible. Means from this hard mass, from this SOSO, CaSO4 to H2O, that is from this gypsum, it is not possible to get POP again. Now we'll go to the uses of POP. Here you see the picture of a fractured hand and uh, this what is used to keep the hand in place is POP. So POP is used to for when you have a fracture of your hand or your leg, uh, the, the doctor will put you a plaster of POP to make sure that you are unable to move it and it heals faster. POP also use, is used in making toys. We have seen in ceilings to make decorative ceilings. Another point to remember is POP should be stored in airtight container. In airtight, free of moisture. And why? Because if you store POP just in the outside, it will combine with water and form a hard mass. So POP, if you just store it outside, it will take the moisture from the air and become a hard mass and now it is useless. So POP has to be stored in airtight container. Let me go over that reaction of setting of the of POP. For setting of the POP, we have POP which is CaSO4 half H2O and then we add one and a half molecule of water. In the earlier equation I just wrote water but it is one and a half molecule of water to give you CaSO4.2 H2O. This is what happens how the hard mass is formed. So this is the POP here, plaster of Paris which then gives gypsum. Another point to ponder is this. We have, we say the formula for gypsum, formula for POP is, for POP is CaSO4 point half H2O. What does this mean? That one molecule of calcium sulfate shares half a molecule of water. Do we have half a molecule of water? There is nothing as half a molecule of water. Either we have one molecule of water or two molecules of water or three molecules of water. So actually what happens here is one molecule here and there's another molecule of copper sulfate and both these share one molecule of water. So two molecules of calcium sulfate share a single molecule of water. That is why the formula of POP is CaSO4 point half H2O. So the meaning is that two molecules, formula units of calcium sulfate share one molecule of water.